This is the number one thing I see people doing wrong in the gym. They're doing a basic lat pull down, thinking they're training the lats. They're using a specific grip because they think it targets the upper back. But in reality, all they're really doing here is they're changing their hand position or using a different grip. So today I'm gonna show you how to perform each variation of a lat pull down to target the area of the back that you specifically wanna focus on. So let's start with number one, the basic overhand wide to medium grip lat pull down. This is the most common lat pull down performed in the gym. And due to the overhand grip outside of shoulder width, the elbows are naturally pulled out to the sides as we lower the bar to the chest. This elbows out position is gonna emphasize the upper back and teres major. While many people think that they're performing lat pull downs like this for lats, as the name implies, they're not wrong as there's no way to completely isolate one area of the back on a multi-joint pulling exercise, but the lats are worked to a lesser degree here than the teres major on this movement. A more appropriate name would be a teres pull down for this variation. Next, we flip this up and we focus specifically on a lat specific variation here by switching from a wide grip to a close grip and also switching from an overhand grip to an underhand grip. We now have a lat specific pull down. While most people are simply focusing on a different hand position here, you really need to focus on what's going on with the elbows. Lat training is all about elbow path. And by using an underhand grip and a closer grip, the elbows are now forced out in front of the body at the top and tucked down and close to the sides of the body at the bottom. That makes this movement very lat specific. And although the only difference between the first exercise and this one is simply your hand grip and position, it's literally now a different exercise targeting a different part of the back. Next up, we're gonna cover a movement that many people use in the gym unintentionally. That is the super wide grip, or a more accurate name would be rear delt pull down. You see, most people think they're performing a traditional lat pull down when they do these. They think a wider grip equals a wider back. And as we discussed, it actually couldn't be more further from the truth. Many people are performing regular lat pull downs and just taking the widest grip possible in the gym. This does not build a wider back, but with a few tweaks to this technique, this wider grip variation, it's actually a very solid exercise to specifically target the rear delts. With this goal in mind, this exercise should be performed using the widest handle you have available in the gym. Despite what many people think, that bar, it's not used specifically for the lats, but actually to train the rear delts. With this movement, you'll grip the bar on the handles as far out as you can go. Here's the thing, if you're going wide enough, and pulling with the rear delts, you shouldn't even be able to bring that bar down much lower than the mouth or chin level. Instead of moving the bar from point A to point B, with this exercise, you wanna be pulling and squeezing those rear delts down until they're fully contracted. They should reach a peak contraction right as that bar hits about the mouth and the chin level. This exercise should also be done with a nice stretch at the top of the movement to really emphasize that stretch. And while these are the three main pull down variations you can do in the gym, there are of course many other options when it comes to handles, machines, and positions. But just understand that these are the three main ways to perform lat pull down to emphasize specific regions of the back. And almost every other variation you do is simply just a variation of one of these three. Wide neutral grip or even close neutral grip, there's simply variations of a wide grip upper back lat pull down and a closer grip lat pull down. The neutral grip tends to pull the elbow forward slightly just a bit more than an overhand grip, making it a bit more of a lat specific movement, but not so much that I would call it a lat biased exercise. I personally find that neutral grip is a good middle ground for those who just need to add muscle to their entire back. And the neutral grip, it also serves as a very good variation to avoid overuse injury. If you're only performing pull downs with a wide overhand grip multiple times per week for months on end, it's very easy to build up overuse issues. And any solid back training program should incorporate solid variations of each movement to round it out and prevent any muscle imbalances. And if you're in the gym performing any other variation, such as single arm work or machine versions, just ask yourself, where are my elbows? And that'll tell you everything you need to know about the exercise and where it's targeting. Elbows out in front at the top and tucked to the sides at the bottom, that's lats. Elbows flared out, that's upper back. And super wide grip, that's gonna nail the rear delts. So make sure you pick the correct grip if you wanna target specific areas of the back. And if you want the workouts to follow to build more muscle, check out all my old school mass game programs below. And as always, if you wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.